just when you thought they'd finished vlogging, vlogging cameras, they've gone and released a brand new vlogging camera, the one right here, but this one's a little bit special. This isn't like the other mediocre ones because this one is doing all the work. It's doing all the zooming right now. Another Sony vlogging camera, what a surprise, but this one is a bit special. But why, how, and other questions in this video, watch on to find out what it's all about. Vlogging, I'm vlogging, I'm vlogging us. And locks vlog, locks lock, locks vlogging. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging us. Vlog, you vlogging uh, us. We're both vlogging. But, and we're back here. We're back here. We're back here just because last time we didn't get to finish everything, did we? Yeah. I, I think we, there's still a few things we want to see, but we saw some cool things last time. Um, we saw that big, uh, what was it, uh, chamber that, that tests tests stuff. Check, <laughs> check, we just out, check out the video here. Yeah. Here. Is that over that side? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. Oh yeah, this is mirror, isn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, yeah, brand new camera. This is a brand new vlogging camera. It's interesting actually because this is not rubbish. No, I mean it's not. Um, uh, um, it's not just a camera that has had bits removed from it. It will get bits removed from it. We yeah. will find that. Okay, actually, it's, it's a camera that's had bits removed from it and now they're calling it the vlogging camera. But this one's better, this one's better. So before they've had the ZV-1, ZV, no, hang on. Uh, yeah. What's this one called? This one's the ZV-E1. So they've had the ZV-1, that's the, the compact camera, which is basically the RX100. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. That was, that was right. It's just that with the active stabilization on, that it would crop it a bit too tight. Then they had the ZV-E10, which was a crop sensor one. Bit too much rolling shutter on that one. Another one, didn't they? The ZV-1F, is that right? Yeah. That one was basically fixed focal length, but they went for slightly wider. Yeah, that's, um, that one is just... What? The prime lens? What? <laughs> Where? <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> so they had some kind of questionable vlogging products because I think vloggers know what a good camera is these days. Yeah. And I think this might be it because this is basically inside it's an A7S III. Wow! So that sounds good, right? Potentially. Yeah, potentially. <laughs> and what have they taken off? They've obviously taken off the viewfinder. They don't have a viewfinder there. Oh. I mean, the body looks very similar in shape to the A7C, uh, even, even down to card slot. You've just got one card slot. But no, this is no A7C. As I said, A7S III inside which is very nice, and the built-in mic, which is basically what Sony thinks is a vlogging camera. It's, it's basically uh, one of their other products with a built-in mic slapped on. Yeah, when, I, when, when I'm vlogging, that's something I think I'm missing, it's a built-in mic. <laughs> yeah. Because nobody uses any kind of external mics today for ah. vlogging, no. But I, I get it, because when you've got a built-in mic, it's more compact. You can, you can take this around, you can just chuck it in your bag. You don't have to worry about the, the mic sticking out or anything like that. Uh, which I forgot to charge it or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So potentially, it's a great product. Oh, Tali Lai. Yeah, yes. I like. I don't even get it on my S5 Mark II. Oh, isn't there? I forgot about that. No, it, it got a red frame, that's it. Ooh. Or not good. I think for vlogs, you don't have to be all professional and all that, but it's good to know that inside this is a professional camera, A7S III. Yeah, because you provide, you provide the content. You are a content creator. <laughs> exactly, I don't, I don't want to have to spend time thinking about how to use a bloody camera. Um, but let me switch to active stabilization. This is on standard stabilization at the minute. I've got the 20 to 70 millimeter lens, which doesn't have any optical stabilization. So I'm just relying on the camera right now. It's got standard stabilization. Looks all right on the screen, but I bet it's pretty shaky at the minute. So let's switch on active stabilization. Lagging like this. So you can probably see there's a little bit of crop. It's, I think there's around 10% crop, 10% croppage on Sony's active stabilization, which is just as well they've introduced the 20 to 70. So this is probably about 24 millimeter um, effectively. And then I think it's just a little bit wider than 24. It's probably about 
eight nine or something like that. As you may be aware, Sony's in-body steady shot hasn't really offered much help for video before. Their IBIS may have received minor tweaks over the years, but you really want to be using their active steady shot, i.e., their digital stabilization for smooth video. Here we are, look. It's the Concorde again. We're not going on again. We've already seen it. Haven't not enough. No, not none enough. of money. <laughs> none of money. <laughs> oh, that's the Olympus left. <sighs> One of the Olympus. Like it's got the free capsule mic. So it's got, it's on auto at the minute. That says auto. You can have front or directions or rear. Well, let me try on auto and see how well it picks up. Auto sounds kind of nice, but I found that I had a cheeky habit of switching directions totally unnecessarily. <laughs> that's quite. Yeah, it's like a whale tail. Looking from here. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? And is it about to fly? <laughs> it's Superman. Car train? No. Because usually, you you just talking to me the other day about uh, your road mic and how when you're speaking from behind it, yeah, yeah, it's... you can you can hardly hear anything. So you end up having to go around the mic. Because when you're vlogging, sometimes you want to point your camera at somebody, maybe really, really up close like that. But you still want to be heard because you're the you're the main man slash woman. Setting up to only front or only rear seemed to work pretty well, and we came up with the perfect way to uh, test uh, it. I, uh, Do you have uh, any sponsor uh, uh, to mention? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the testing on the mic. Oh, by the way, this video is, is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to on your own website or online store, <laughs> what then you might sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, talk about, um, uh, oh, I could talk about, this video is sponsored by Squarespace, if you want to set up your own website or online store, then check out squarespace.com. So they've got a new touchscreen interface, they've got swipe up, look at that, swipe down, no, swipe left, no, swipe, uh, I mean the other way, left, right, upside down, you can only do up. So there's a kind of a new quick menu thing yeah. that looks like a cannon. <laughs> oh, let's not mention the C word here. So yeah, I mean, I like the concept of it, A7S3, because do you need to buy an A7S3? Do you need all of that stuff for vlogging? And of course, vlogging, yeah, it's nice. Nice compact camera. This is, in fact, I think it's the smallest full frame body in their lineup now. This is smaller than the A7C even though it looks like it. It look, looks like it. It, it kind of looks like, if, if, you imagine, if you imagine the A7C having its egg fertilized by uh, a ZV-1, it would look like this. <laughs> you know, I had to think when I said ZV-1, because it's getting a bit confusing now with all the different names. This one's called ZV-E1. Also, is it ZV-1 or ZV-1? Yeah. Is it ZV-E1 or ZV-E1? This one is ZV-E1. You still have to lock. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, yeah, but I'm that kind of person who, when they lock the door, I have to go back to check again. So that, that's why. It's not that I forgot as such. I'm just that kind of, uh, I don't trust myself kind of person. When you see the steps behind a plane. From the bottom. There's, there's back passage. It's not, not often that you get a back passage that's that inviting. Oh, it smells, it smells like a, it smells like an old plane. It's got that smell. So as this is an A7S3 inside, it's got the 4K25, obviously, um, 10-bit 422. Uh, then you've got the 4K60. It will have 4K 120 with a free firmware update later on. June. June, right. I think so. It's kind of weird. Like they mentioned it now, that, oh, <laughs> yeah. you got it on June. So, oh, no, 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 wait, 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 oh, 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 before you decide not to buy it. Oh, wait, 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 it's got 4K 120, it's coming, it's coming. Why not now, or why not just release it on June? <laughs> well, this doesn't have the same heat management system as the A7S III, so potentially, I think they're probably testing out to see if it will explode. In other words, it's not ready. <laughs> well, it's not ready for 4K 120. Yeah. Let's test out this auto framing stabilizer thing, whatever they call it. Oh, it's, it's, it's cropping in right now. Oh, it takes a bit of time. Oh, wait a minute. 
it's taking it's taking a little bit of time to to kind of crop in. There you go. Uh, okay, now it's fine. I think just yet it looks like that um, the pink thing, the bob, what the bob bobby, Mr. Blobby, Mr. Blobby. <laughs> So this is the framing stabilizer. Just now I was using the frame, auto framing. Uh, it's in a different menu system. Oh, I would have thought they put it in the same thing because the framing stabilizer is here. And then the auto framing is here. The aim of this is that if the subject you're filming, a subject that is moving, it will keep you centered as much as possible, even if uh, if my framing goes a bit. So oh, you mean uh, uh, the so so the auto framing is the one that we we use at the beginning. Yeah. And this one is for when the camera is on the move. That's right. So somebody is holding the camera, but is not not able to properly point it to the subject. Basically, yeah. If your cameraman's a bit rubbish. But also, it should, it should stabilize it at the same time. But I'm just going to do this now to, to touch on the subject. Okay? I just don't get this because when somebody holding the camera, it's not that hard to keep a subject inside the frame. It can't be worse than a AI or whatever. Indeed, it even has this weird jerky panning. What a jerk. Okay, so now we're going to go look at some stuff that we didn't get to see last time. We turned up late last time, and by the time we got here, there's a little bit of time to shoot, and then we had to get out. London Bus Museum, which is not in London. I love, I love that level of detail where they've got... <laughs> oh no, there's an the electric bus from China. Stay away. Oh, it's got a little magic, magic thing here as well. Let's, I'm curious about that. What's that? The magic thing brings quick access to defocus control. You could also quick shift exposure and white balance without knowing anything about exposure triangles or other shapes. And Cindy Flop is just... Now you're a filmmaker. Yeah. <laughs> So you switch that on and it, it gives you those black bars. So it's a 2.35 by one. Good for YouTube? Yeah, well, yes. Not really? <laughs> no, but it's good for, good for all those people who want to make B-rolls with, with those black bars and like slow, you know, half speed, like on the one wheel. Yeah, I'm, I'm a cool vlogger. Yeah, rad and stuff like that. But you know, we're not, we're, we're sad nerdy losers. <laughs> Cine Vlog comes with some Cine Vlog styles, which is basically glorified creative style, but better, kind of. This is s Cinetone Auto, it should look alright. Okay, this is clean. Okay. Yeah, it should look nice and clean. Chic. That looks a bit more... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch your chic pose. Fresh. Oh, refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> That's very saturated. And then Mono is, of course, Chase Jarvis. Within each one, you've got different uh, tones. And this is Cinetone Gold. Ocean. Ocean. <laughs> and then this is Forest. Forest. So this Clean Auto Gold Ocean Forest. And then oh, Chic. You can basically it's, do the same gold. The Chic Gold Ocean Forest. That's getting confusing now. And then, uh, uh, fresh forest, fresh. ocean gold, fresh. Forest. auto. Fresh ocean. We're talking about picture profiles. I don't actually know what picture profile this is on at the minute. Professional flocker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I put it on the auto. That's, you don't need it. You don't need anything else. Uh, cancel. Oh yeah, you can add LUTs to this now. You can add LUTs. Ooh, professional. Yeah. You're a filmmaker now. You know, whenever I switch S Cinetone on, it's just, it really does look nice, the colours. Still nice.
Money! One corner of a time. I remember these. Emergency only. I, that's the first time. <laughs> that's the first time I can I can actually try it. You know, even though this kind of bus was before my time, it's it's got this nostalgic feeling to it. It's not like oh, I was Wait, really... it is my time. Uh -oh. You're trying to oh. <laughs> pretend. Oh, okay. How, how long are we filming for? Hold on, maybe now. Oh. 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 I think the battery life is not good. It's not terrible. Yeah. I think it's just probably similar to the E7S3. This looks pretty steep. <laughs> oh! Imagine well done here. I've got a little. It's really funny. You should see this lock. This is a very claustrophobic feeling up here. I don't know why. Wow! It... <laughs> <laughs> the roof is. You know, if you're if you're over six foot. You're gonna be scraping it. I'm. I'm just kind of. And you have to step touching it on. <laughs> one step to get on the on the seat as well. Four person seat. Yeah. Imagine you are. You're if you're in that on that side, then you have to get out. But well, that step's kind of curious, isn't it? <laughs> that is really narrow. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> excuse sorry, me. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But it is here we figured out how you could make use of the auto framing. Yeah, kind of. It it looks pretty handy in this particular situation when you can just put down the camera there and then just film yourself. Well, because if because if you're filming on these, you know, see, say if you're doing a vlog and you're like saying, oh, I've come to the London Transport Museum. I'm checking out the buses. This bus has got a really low roof. It's got a funny step here. I don't know how anybody who's got a height of over six foot is going to get on this bus. It's going to look a bit kind of um, dull, I guess. It's, it's just very still. Can it detect me? Yeah. It's the frame. Okay, I'll go back a bit further. Then. Oh, <coughs> lost it. No. Okay. Picks picks up. Yep. So I can't go all the way back, but I've come here to London Transport Museum, checking out the London double-decker buses. This one is really crazy because the roof is so low. Got a funny step here, so it makes it harder to get in and out. But uh, look, it's working. But when I get here, um, that's not full body anymore, is it? Well, that's fine, I guess. Auto framing framing stabilizer also let you export uncropped images through HDMI while cropping in the video saved to SD card. So it's got this, this little rocker switch here. That's if you're using PZ lenses, you can use that to zoom. But at the minute, it's, it's working for clear image zoom. Not a new feature, but seems Sony like to have a dedicated zoom switch on vlogging cameras. I think this is a little bit different to the other vlogging cameras from Sony, is that if you want to switch from photo, stills mode, to video mode, you have to press a button. They make it difficult because oh, you're just going to use it for vlogging anyway. This one has got switch. It's got a dedicated switch. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Even though it's 12 megapixels, still, you can use it to take good full frame pictures. Why not? Getting claustro claustrophobic now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh! <laughs> the mic is like, I mean, we've tried the previous Sony vlogging cameras. Yeah. And I think the audio is all right on them. It's all right. It's, it's not like really lush, really rich sounding, but it works. I think it's better than most built-in mic. Yeah. I don't like it that it's, it almost seems like that is the whole point of their, their vlogging lineup. Yeah. Especially this kind of wireless mic is really popular these days. Yeah. It kind of like this kind of form factor, the roll wireless go form factor. Less intimidating for beginners. People think that, oh, I can just clip it on my clothes and then it works rather than, oh, I have to wind, I have to mic myself or. But you like, still have to charge it up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is just, you just pick up, you go. But I have seen a lot of beginners, uh, YouTuber, have this kind of wireless mic. Now everyone used this. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's the thing, vlogging has moved on. I think with their previous vlogging cameras, I worry that with all of these brands, their vision of what a vlogger uses 
is of a time that is a few years ago. Because they, they were using videos of like, oh, this it was product showcase, you know, people were doing makeup videos. Um, instead of doing that, <laughs> to just hold up the makeup, they would, they, you know, you can get it to work. But I think these makeup vloggers these days, they're using really good cameras. Yeah, probably better cameras than us. But another thing is, this costs, uh, well, 2,700 euros body only. That's quite a bit of money. I, I haven't got the price yet of the pounds. Put up on the screen here. Still. Still. Definitely more it's expensive be... than this. Yeah. The S5 Mark II. I mean, not many people know about pens on the cameras, but then that more expensive than this. And this got better stabilization. Got a real finder. Uh, 6K. I mean, the Sony, people know about Sony, it's popular. But I know what, which one I would get. Well, you get that because you got it for free. <laughs> no, no, even if I have to, well, it's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper. So if I have to buy with my own money, cheaper, 6K. Much better image stabilization. I think the trouble with Sony now is that because they're Sony, because everybody wants to use Sony, or everybody uses Sony. And when this came out, not many people really cared too much about it. Does it feel like Sony have just got the same ingredients? It's almost, it's almost the same dish. Uh, let's uh, tweak it about a bit. Uh, it's a completely new dish. It's a new dish. It's like um, uh, uh, when McDonald's, they, use, they once in a while, they release a new burger. It's just a little bit of, oh, there's one more piece of cheese. <laughs> I mean, the burger, what, it, 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 that's exactly it, isn't it? They're just reinventing the burger with this. Yeah. What can you do with a burger? Is a bat put a burger? Put a hair sprung in it. <laughs> Let's forget about the other brands first. Sony has created a new cheeseburger by putting less cheese in and sprinkling some new special sauce on it. But somehow it just works. It's the right level of tweakery, just enough to think, yeah. They got this just right. It's the camera that vloggers would want after using the ZV-1, ZV-E10 and ZV-1F only to realise they were missing something. Some might scoff at the price, considering there are a number of cameras around this price that are going to compete with this, and some might say it's just another Sony camera with bits taken off but with a mic that sounds just alright put on and a clever auto framing feature. But if you think of it as you're getting an A7 III for less, then it really starts to make sense.